Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the auger assembly on your refrigerator and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, a small flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of slip joint pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we'll begin by opening the freezer door, and then we're going to remove the whole ice bucket and auger assembly, and then we'll set it on a suitable work surface where we can do the repair. Now while we're doing the repair, We'll also turn the ice maker off, so just reach in, lift up on the shutoff lever, and put it in the off position. Now to do this repair, we simply need to remove the front cover from the old assembly. Now there are two screws on the inside at the top of the metal bracket, and then there are two screws on the bottom of that same bracket, so we'll just remove those. Set it up right, remove the last two screws, and just lift the cover assembly off and set that aside so we can install it on the new piece. We discard the old bucket and auger assembly. And then we'll set that cover assembly aside. Now next we're going to remove the complete auger and crusher blade assembly from the bucket. We're going to turn it upside down. We're going to remove these two screws and secure that metal bracket to the front of the ice bucket. It also encompasses the crusher housing. And we'll also need to remove this single screw that holds the bracket for the crusher lever. These are a short Phillips screw. And the screw securing that bracket is the same length as the ones that hold the front cover on. And I'll turn it upright again. And this metal bracket has a lip that fits down over the front top edge of that ice bucket. So if we push forward on the auger, we'll lift up and release that bracket. You'll also note the two slotted tabs that will also made up with that metal bracket. Take that whole assembly out. You'll note the rubber gasket that fits around the bottom edge of that ice bucket. And when reinstalling we'll need to make sure that that is seated properly in there and it's easier done in the final stages of the reassembly. Now as well, we have a bearing on the end of that auger that we can just pop off. And again, this is easier to install in the ice bucket first the reassembly, and it will set in place like that and we'll set the bucket aside. Now to remove the auger from the housing, we'll start by taking that E-ring off. We'll use a flat base screwdriver. Just go to the opening and pry over it on it. Start it and just go straight up on it. There will be some tension on there, so use a little caution. Next is a thin thrust washer. Set those aside. Then we'll remove the two Phillips screws that hold the cover. And these are in machine screw. They're different from the screws that held the assembly to the ice bucket. Now as we lift that cover off, it will disengage the crusher arm.
and we can slide it completely off. A bracket for the fixed blades on the auger will fit into this opening. Next we'll take that whole assembly out through the metal bracket, so just rotate it until we can pass it through that opening and we'll set the bracket and lever aside. Next we'll disassemble the auger. Now if you have a digital camera it's a good time to take a picture of the components involved in this auger assembly. We have two fixed blades that are mounted into a plastic block and we have three rotating blades that are attached to the shaft. In between those components are nylon bushings. So we're going to start by taking our slip joint pliers and while grasping the auger shaft we're going to unthread that nylon nut. Set that aside. And next we'll remove one of the rotating blades and these blades are numbered as well and will help us when reattaching them. Next we'll take off a straight bushing. Now we have the two fixed blades that are attached to that block and they sandwich one of the rotating blades in the middle along with two bushings so we can slide that assembly off in one piece. Next we have a stepped bushing and the final blade and the shield. And then the flat metal bar. You can now discard the old auger. Now when reassembling the auger assembly, we're going to start with this tapered flat bar. And you'll notice there's a little concave shape to it. That will slide onto the shaft first. Next we're going to install the shield. It will slide onto that shaft and then we're going to line up these two notches with that metal bar. And we'll need to make sure during the final assembly of this auger that we have those notches lined up properly. Now our next step will be blade number three. And then the double bushing with the small end pointing out. And then we're going to assemble the fixed blades with the rotating blade in the middle. You may be able to put this together in one piece. The flat bushing in the middle. And then just to press it together. it over the shaft and we'll need to rotate it until it lines up with that middle blade and then it should look like this. Again we have a double bushing facing the end of the shaft. Next we'll put the straight bushing in place. Our final blade and then the nylon nut with the flange portion facing the blade. We'll start that nut by hand to make sure that we have it threading on straight. And as we tighten that, we'll want to check that metal bracket at the back where it fits into the shield. and then tighten it with the slip joint pliers. And don't over
before I tighten it. And now we're ready to put this assembly through the metal bracket. assembly is through that opening. And next we're going to line up this plastic block with the receptacle on that front cover. And once we have that fitted into that opening. We're going to rotate that cover around until we line up the two screw holes. And we'll need to make sure that the lever for that ice crusher door is fitted into this slot. through that opening and then we'll just temporarily put those two screws in the front this will help hold that assembly together and make sure that we use the machine screws Next, we can install that thrust washer. Make sure it doesn't sit down into the groove on that plastic nut. And then we'll take the E-ring, slide the teeth on that into that groove. And using our slip joint pliers, we'll press that into place. And now we can rotate that around. And next, we're going to have to engage the hook on that lever into this portion. So reach inside, lift the door into the open position. We'll want to make sure that these two embossments on that shaft, there, there's one on either side of the metal bracket. So we pull that back through until that fits in the middle. That will prevent the shaft from going back and forth. have to just gently bend that plastic enough to hook the lever under it and that will hold it in position. Now we're ready to put the assembly back in the ice bucket. Now there is a bearing that sits on the end of that auger that will fit into the round hole in the back of our ice bucket and there's a slotted opening on that bearing that will fit over the shaft of the auger and it snaps into place. Now, we find it a little easier if we put this bearing into the ice bucket first. So we'll put the large end down, and then we're going to slide that whole assembly into position. We're going to keep the lever for the crusher on the outside of the bin, lower the auger down into the inside. We'll line it up with that bearing on the bottom. And then we're going to hook the top of that metal bracket over the top edge of the bucket. And there are two vertical slots there that will line up as well. that into position. Make sure those little tabs in the end of the metal bracket fit into the vertical slots. Press it down 
flush. Now with the crusher assembly in position, before we install those two screws on the bottom, we're going to reinstall this little horseshoe shaped gasket out of the flange on the front of the ice bucket, not on the shroud on the auger, but actually on the ice bucket itself. Now when we have that gasket in position, we can pull that bracket back so that the tabs line up with the screw holes and we'll reinstall those two short Phillips self-tapping screws and just verify that the top stayed in position and it's hooked over the top of that ice bucket. We're now we're ready to reinstall the bracket and spring. So we'll start by rotating the short hooked end of that spring over the plastic tab that protrudes from the bottom of that ice bucket. And then we'll rotate the bracket to sit right on top of that, hold it in position. Reinstall the Phillips screw and then rotate the spring around with the long arm with the hook on it to catch on just on the bend of that crusher arm. Verify that it works properly. And we can now put the front cover on. Slide it into position. And there's a round tab that lines up in the inside. That will allow us to get the first two screws in. Take care not to over tighten those two screws. And we'll turn it upside down. Install the two screws in the bottom. And just check the operation of that auger, make sure it turns freely. And the pressure door still works properly. And we're now ready to put the assembly back in the refrigerator. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.